I'd like to show you how to download and use some trust software I built in MATLAB that uses matrices to solve for a determinate trust. So the first step is to go to github.com slash M-R-S-O-L-T-Y-S. Um, that's my GitHub. GitHub is just a site that shares um, code online. And you can scroll down to 2D Trust Analysis MATLAB. You click on that one. Um, that's what you're going to want. And you want to hit this one, clone or download. So you want to download this zip file, um, which has all of the, the trust analysis in it. So if you open that up, uh, you can extract it all um, to any folder you'd like on your computer. And then once you do that, you can open it up and it has uh, these files in it. The one that we're going to want is this one that's called trustgui.m. Uh, GUI stands for graphical user interface. And so this operates on a, um, it has a, a way you can click on stuff. You don't have to type in code to, you don't have to know anything about MATLAB to run this. You just have to have MATLAB installed on your computer. So open that file up. I can see that my directory is already set to be where that, that file is. And then I just want to hit the run button. The first thing that the window is going to do is it's going to ask you to set up a grid. And so it's going to want to ask um, how many feet or meters. You, the units actually aren't very important. Um, you can use it could be inches if you want. Uh, but what the horizontal spacing and the vertical spacing is. So here I'll just make a, a one by one grid um, and I'll have um, 22 horizontal spaces. And I'm going to put in, uh, let's put in. 10 vertical spaces and I'll hit OK. So here a grid pops up that we created. It's uh, 22 inches long by 10 inches tall. And I can, there's uh, some buttons here that allow you to add members, um, add supports, or add loading to the truss. Um, so I can click Edit Members and I can build any truss I want. I can just click on one spot and then click on another spot to draw a member. Uh, so I can just draw a couple members here, um, start drawing just a few members. Um, like that, um, not quite symmetrical. If I ever want to erase a member, I just have to retrace it. So I can click here and click back to erase it. So finish drawing my truss. Uh, this it will only work for determinate trusses. So the number of joints times two has to be equal to the member number of members uh, plus three reactions. So um, that's, a, that's a good looking truss for now. Um, it says press return when finished drawing truss. It's actually super important. The, the program will bug out if you forget to press enter. So I'll press enter and then I can add some supports to it. So it, it just asks for a pin and a roller. Um, you could put those anywhere you like. Um, they don't have to be on the end. If I want to edit it, I could put a pin there and a roller in the middle. Um, that's fine. And then the last thing it asks for is for me to edit loads. So I click on edit loads and I could put a spot where I want to have a load and it asks for the X and the Y component of the load. Um, so if you wanted to go straight down, you could just have it be zero and negative 1.5 and that's going to put a load straight down um, and you can have more than one load on the truss um, so i can, I can put uh, a couple loads on it and then it again it says return press return when finished so if i press enter i'm done and then i can click analyze and it's going to show me the uh forces in the truss it's going to compute the matrix um, if i go over here it will show me um, the resultant matrix and the uh the matrix it made for each of the equations. Um, and then it's just using uh, the inverse uh, multiplication to figure out what the, the resultant is. Um, and it gives you the forces in each of the members. Um, positive numbers are tension, negative numbers are compression, and that's it. Um, so then if I want to go back and, and iterate my truss and figure out a different way to load it, I can click edit. Um, and I could add some members to it. So I could like, um, I don't know, just add, maybe I want to add a couple members like this to the truss. Hit enter and click analyze and I can see how uh, well, those are zero force members. So that's not going to 
change the loads in the truss set. Also, I could uh, edit it again. And I'm getting rid of those zero force members. Those weren't helping me at all. Uh, but maybe I want to, um, I want to add um, a little bit, a little peak to the truss. And then to make sure it's determinant, I'll need to make sure I add another member here. Uh, so I'll push enter and click analyze. And I can see how that change changed the forces in the truss. Um, if you want to save your truss, you can save the file um, anywhere you want. It's going to save it as a .mat file. Um, and then you could load it up to work on it later. So that's the, the program. Um, and I hope it helps you uh, when you're working on different trusses.